In today's video, we're going to go over how to blitz effectively and when to dial up the aggressive defense. As you can see on the screen right now, it is okay to send six people, sometimes seven people, to keep your opponent uncomfortable. What's up, everybody? If you want to take your Madden 22 game into the next level, the link in the description has my ebooks, and every ebook that you get gets a free upgrade for four months. I repeat, free upgrades for four months. Let's get it. All right, so the first thing that you should do when you are on defense is mix your coverages up. So if I come out and cover three, the next play, I'm going to pick either cover four or cover six. If I come out and cover six, that's a matching concept. The next play, sometimes I will run full man coverage, two man under. Okay, so whenever you get a turnover on downs, if you get an interception, if you get a sack, if you make them punt the ball, make sure you run as much time off the clock as possible because you don't want DDA and you don't want the Madden bull crap to start kicking in now as far as blitzes go i like to always send five man pressure and sometimes i will get super aggressive and start mixing in six man pressure as you see on the screen nickel two four five my ebooks and my patreon have the full breakdown what you want to do is you want to pinch your entire team and then you want to stand in the gap over the center okay that's going to guarantee you if it's at least five receiver threats going out you're going to get pressure now what i also like to do is i like to take my cornerback off of one of the sides when i pinch the entire team depending on how many wide receiver threats is on that side i will blitz the cornerback just to make sure that we get good pressure generated. Now, if I send a successful blitz, whether it's an incompletion, whether it's a sack, or whether it's a turnover on downs, the next play, I'm expecting for them to block the tight end or the running back. So I'm gonna play more of a conservative defense after that. That means rushing three people or rushing four people and a lot of coverage. And then, once they get comfortable, sending out running backs, sending out tight ends, sending out five receiving threats once again, that's when I'm going to go back to sending pressure because not only will you get inaccurate passes, as you can see, we are getting a disengage on this cover three blitz. What you want to do is pinch the entire team and crash down. It's going to make the offensive line start bumping your rushers to the left, to the right, and somebody is going to come free for a disengage. The Bucks slant three. Now, the nickel blitz two out of the nickel two four five i am in the cardinals defensive playbook it's going to be the same setup pinch the entire team crash your line down sometimes you have to do it two times so it register now once they hike the ball all i want to do is stand still and move to the left a little bit and you can see even with a running back blocking we get super fast pressure so i will stand still for a quick second by the time the ball gets to the quarterback hand, I will start moving to the left and look at routes. So I will start moving to the left. That's going to help generate a lot of blitz pressure. If y'all enjoyed it, drop a like on the video. If you want a full breakdown on match defense, on cover two, cover three, cover four, cover six schemes, the Patreon and the ebooks is where you want to be at.